uh, this is not a tutorial. This is a uh, software comparison test that I took. Um, I took an image and upresed it to uh, 500%, and this is the image. And uh, I used two two software uh, packages to do that. The first one is uh, CS3, which is uh, the one I'm using uh, today, and on one's uh, software package for genuine fractals, which, by the way, goes for about $160. Um, and basically where I went with, uh, with this was I took this image that you see on your screen here and, and took it all the way up to uh, 500%, uh, up it. And um, this particular image uh, was taken with my ca Canon uh, 1DS Mark II, which is a 16.7 megapixel um, camera. And uh, it produces, uh, right, out, right out of the uh, camera, images that are uh, 4,992 pixels wide. Um, so when I went up to 500%, uh, the final image, which took about 15 minutes uh, to, to render, uh, was finally 24,960 pixels wide. So this is the image, and uh, let's begin by compar comparing uh, the images at 100%. With the Photoshop on the left and uh, genuine fractals on the right. Now, now here's the image at 100%, and you can see it's a little closer. Um, not uh, you're not going to see any much of, much of a difference, but I just thought I'd give you the opportunity to see it, t take a look at them. And here, this is the uh, rock area. Now, as we get in, move move in a little closer, and we look at three hundred percent. Looking at the the uh, the the, uh, the pine needles on one of the pine trees, and uh, there's Photoshop and uh, genuine fractals on the right. And finally, we, we went up to 500%. And uh, I will ask you to make the final decision. Um, you're looking at Photoshop uh, on the left and Genuine Fractals on the right. Um, the method I used, by the way, one final note, the method I used to up-res in Photoshop uh, was this method. I just brought up uh, uh, the resizing uh, dialog box and uh, I went from uh, inches into percent and then I went to 500 percent and then I used bicubic smoother. And that's how I did that. So here's the final 500 uh, percent and take a look at it and see what you think.